Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Today, and hope you're doing well. Let's start today's news regarding SpaceX's first orbital Starship launch. SpaceX wants to begin orbital Starship launch attempts as early as the 1st of July 2021. Calculating only four months are left from now, Elon Musk has confirmed that SpaceX has a target of conducting Starship's first orbital launch attempt by mid-2021. A SpaceX fan and photographer, Rob Dickinson, had tweeted to Musk on the 17th of March that SpaceX crazy, full stack flight July? Elon Musk replied to him in a tweet on the same day, that's our goal. SpaceX concludes that within six months, they'll go through preliminary tests of super heavy boosters, complete an upgraded Starship design, and nearly build up a full-fledged orbital launch complex. It would also require SpaceX to qualify and ship the first flight-worthy Raptor vacuum engines, a big milestone to achieve. This target of SpaceX shows that the company sees a real hopeful way to launch Starship into orbit for the first time within just four months. SpaceX will likely continue Starship development, largely even after reaching orbit for the first time. Starship's first orbital velocity atmospheric re-entry is one of the biggest challenges in aerospace engineering. If SpaceX carries it out successfully, then it will be another great achievement for them. Let's move to our next news of SpaceX, achieving another milestone with their Starlink launch. Once again, SpaceX's Falcon 9 booster has successfully carried out its orbital class launch and landing for the ninth time. One more successful launch and land of the Falcon booster will fulfill SpaceX's long-desired goal of 10 times per booster reusability. This Falcon 9 mission was carried out on the 14th of March 2021 at 6.01 a.m. Eastern Time. The rocket lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center. After deploying 60 satellites of this last Starlink mission, the total number of Starlink satellites round up to 1,260 satellites now. Elon Musk tweeted on the 14th of March 2021, Falcon flies for the ninth time tonight, 9.40 a.m. The latest Starlink mission was Starlink V1L21. The Falcon booster, which set the record launch and land for ninth time, was booster B1051. Along with deploying another batch of 60 operational Starlink satellites without any issue, SpaceX teams also bring forth the fastest payload fairing reuse in Starlink 21 mission. Just eight and a half minutes after launch, the rocket's first stage landed on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. The booster, B-1051, which created the history, was first used to launch a Crew Dragon spacecraft on the uncrewed Demo-1 mission. The booster was also used to launch the Radarsat Constellation mission and the SXM-7 satellite. It also launched five other Starlink missions and now on the way to the goal of 10 launches per booster. Hans Koenigsmann, senior advisor for build and flight reliability at SpaceX, had said during a panel discussion at the 47th Spaceport Summit that we're learning a lot about refurbishment and we're learning where the areas are where we need to pay attention to. We've been learning with every single landing. Koenigsmann also said that when the Falcon booster reaches the milestone of 10 flights, SpaceX will continue to look at that booster, B-1051, and make an assessment whether they can move forward with it. I don't think the number 10 is a magic number, Koenigsmann said. He further stated that the booster may be able to continue to operate after 10th time by replacing some of the components. SpaceX teams conducted two back-to-back -back Starlink missions within a short span of less than four days. This launch was the eighth launch of Falcon 9 in 2021. Six of the eight Falcon 9 launches were other Starlink missions, and the remaining two missions constituted one Transporter 1 dedicated rideshare flight and recent Starlink 21 mission. Benji Reed, Senior Director for Human Spaceflight Programs at SpaceX, has said about the failed landing of a Falcon 9 booster in an earlier Starlink launch this year at a press briefing, the more you fly, the more you learn. That's a great lesson that we learned from these very long life leader components and vehicles, Benji said. Reed has also explained the reason for failure was an engine shutdown during flight when hot gas got through a hole in the engine cover. That failed Falcon booster was the most flown one 
and also the life leader in the Falcon 9 fleet. It was expected to complete first the goal of 10 times launch with a single booster. Now the B-1051 booster is on the way to launch 10 times. SpaceX team is now using the great lesson they learned from the failed booster landing earlier to inspect and carry out crucial checkups and maintenance of upcoming booster rockets. The upcoming SpaceX Starlink mission, Starlink 22, is scheduled to launch on the 21st of March 2021 from launch pad LC-40 in Florida. If SpaceX launches, it is scheduled, then LC-40 launch pad will also create a record of supporting two launches within just 10 days. Let's move to our next news regarding Seeker winning $60 million DARPA contract. On the 12th of March 2021, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, announced that they've awarded a contract to Seeker Engineering, a company based in Centennial, Colorado, is developing the artificial brain of DARPA's Blackjack satellite network. The contract, worth $60.4 million, aims to generate a data processing system for satellites, which will be operated autonomously. In 2018, DARPA started the Blackjack program to demonstrate the use of small satellites in low Earth orbit to provide services like navigation, missile warning, and communications. DARPA selected Seeker to create a high-tech, artificial brain for DARPA's Blackjack satellite system. Seeker is now developing the Pit Boss Artificial Intelligence System. This next-gen artificial intelligence system will enable the Blackjack constellation to operate on its own. The work of the Artificial Intelligence Project is scheduled to complete in the year 2022. DARPA plans for a technology demonstration of Pit Boss on orbit later this year. DARPA said that if the Pit Boss technology works successfully, then it can be used to process more data for military users all over the globe. According to a report, the Blackjack constellation will consist of 20 satellites. DARPA has ordered 10 buses from the Blue Canyon Technologies. DARPA selected Lockheed Martin as the satellite integrator. DARPA has also obtained missile warning infrared sensors from Raytheon. Let's move to today's last news regarding SpaceX's bids on launch of NASA. On the 11th of March 2021, NASA stated about the source selection to launch the time-resolved observations of precipitation structure and storm intensity with a constellation of small sats, TROPICS mission. TROPICS is a group of six CubeSats to be launched into three orbital inclinations by the year 2022. This satellite system will be used to study tropical weather systems. NASA also said that they received five proposals in August for the mission. SpaceX was one of the five bidders. NASA noted a drawback in SpaceX's proposal. Other four bidders were Astra, Rocket Lab, Momentus, and Virgin Orbit. SpaceX did not clearly demonstrate progress toward the resolution of the environmental assessment, which results in risks associated with obtaining an FAA launch license, increasing the likelihood of delays that would affect contract performance, stated NASA. Virgin Orbit was eliminated because their bid did not fall in the competitive range NASA had released. Momentus, another space launch provider, was also eliminated by NASA because its proposal did not meet all the necessities of the launch services. NASA has compared SpaceX's proposal with the bid received from Astra. NASA found that SpaceX has a risk in launch site regarding obtaining a launch license in time from the Federal Aviation Administration for orbital test flights. Astra, on the other hand, has a drawback in its proposed launch site, with minimal development issues and range conflicts. NASA hold Astra's bid as a better proposal as risks in its launch approach based on the required launch date and current status of the proposed launch vehicle was a bigger point to be noted. According to a report, SpaceX's proposed price of the bid was also slightly higher than Astra's bid. It ultimately led NASA to favor Astra's proposal. Rocket Lab and Astra were the two remaining bidders left in the panel. Rocket Lab's proposal was good, but they proposed a significantly higher price. NASA, after reviewing the benefits associated with Rocket Lab's proposal, 
and risks, along with significantly lower price and Astra's proposal, selected Astra for launching the Tropics mission in 2022. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.